You mentioned earlier about the spiritual component to your music, uh, but you kind of glossed over it about um, chasing away the stuff, shall we say. Right. Do you have anything you want to add to that? Do you think, uh, I mean, it, for me it goes a lot deeper than that, and I don't know if, if you... Well, it goes very deep, and it's very, very old, you know. So it's a very hard thing to talk about in a situation like this. You know, it would we would have to have a workshop on the spirituality of music and what it is. You know, then that would be another. That would be another. <coughs> Basically, my theory is that we are tools. When you choose to be a musician, when you choose to make music, you are choosing to become a part of something that is helping to make the world a better place, a more peaceful place. And so I have a quote that, I've, that, that I have that's been written down, and I don't know how many people understand it, but it's like, music is God singing through us. Music is the Holy Spirit the spirit, the one vibration, the one universal, the one universal vibration that we are all a part of. We all come from one thing. We all come from this one vibration. We're all a part of the same thing. We're all brothers. And because of that, when you get in tune with the Holy Spirit and you let your music you give your music to people, and God plays music through you because you have made the uh, you you have made the commitment. You give yourself to this. You make a commitment. You say, Holy Father, please make me a messenger of your love. When that happens, your life changes, right? So then, what happens is when you play music. It touches everybody because there is a common bond between all of us that is from the same thing. So when you play music, especially instrumental music, music where you're not telling somebody, I woke up this morning and I had the blues and I feel so bad, baby, that I'm going to go jump out of the window. They're telling you what to, they're telling you what to think, right? But when you listen to instrumental music, when you listen to Beethoven, when you listen to Mozart, when you listen to great music, you feel the message of this energy that comes through you to create, help create peace on this earth. So I'm going to leave it at that because you can get into all kinds of philosophies. But I'll tell you, after it's all said and done, after all the religions are done, after everything is done, there's one energy, whatever you want to call it, and it's the stuff that nobody can explain. Quantum physics, they keep breaking it down and breaking it down, and if you study quantum physics, the more you study quantum physics, the more spiritual it becomes, right? So my little theory is the purpose of science is to prove the existence of God. No matter how far they break it down, they still don't know. There's still something that everything comes from that you can't put a number on and you can't point a stick at it. And that's what we are. And one of these days everybody will find that out. Question